This is what it looks like when you only have the vaguest of plans. Bernadette Banner, help me. Welcome back, friends. It's Kate and Kat, and today, for whatever reason, I've decided to weave not one, but two pieces of fabric, I guess you'd call them. And I tried to sew them into a removable seat cushion for a little folding stool that I have. But before I get into the story of everything I did wrong in making the stool, I want to talk about the very basics of weaving. You have two threads, the warp, which goes up and down and is the light gray in this video, and the weft, which goes weft and right, or left and right, and is the, the yellow. Generally, the easy stitch is to go over, under, over, under, weaving the weft around the warp strings. But you can do different sort of loops or weave to different lengths and use different colors to create patterns, which is what I ended up doing. The first time around, I made the mistake of trying to pin into a cushion and my warp strings were not evenly spaced at all. So the end product was not square or rectangular in any capacity. It was an extremely wonky shape and it was also significantly too small. So in the end, after spending probably actually weeks weaving this thing, it was too small and I had to try again. And the second time around, I used a more solid base that was larger. I was very intentional about spacing out the warp threads so that they were even, that they wouldn't fold up like they did when they were on the pillow because the second time around, it was on something square and solid. Although amazingly, it was still too small. <laughs> so I started by cutting a small piece of cardboard and putting it in as the footer. And then I wove in some strong, not stretchy thread at the bottom as the footer. Cause I didn't do that the first time around and the weave basically fell apart immediately as soon as I took it off of my little loom that I had created. And my cat stopped in to help me out. He was really confused why my lap wasn't available, so he would periodically come and check in as I did my work over the course of yet more weeks. And then I went through and wove, create triangles that matched up with the West Elm pillow that I already owned. And I made the triangular patterns by starting one row longer, and then every time I finished a row, I would use one less warp string and just continue that until it created a triangular pattern. And eventually I ended up with a beautiful product, which was not big enough, but I somehow managed to convince myself that it would be big enough and I would be able to make it work. So I took some interfacing and I stitched it onto the back of my weaving so that it would have extra strength and wouldn't fall apart as soon as I sat on it. So I threw some pins on and ran it through my sewing machine. With all the weaving done, I decided to create the under layer of the pillow. So I grabbed some fabric from the thrift store, put the stool upside down on top of it and traced a circle out. And then I cut out the circle. But of course, in the middle of that, my cat had to come and check out what I was doing. And then I folded that circle in half and placed it back on the fabric, leaving a little bit of extra room. I cut out that circle and then I cut it in half and I'm going to use those as the two flaps that I sew on. Then I took my two side panel pieces, that circle that I cut in half, and I ran them all through the sewing machine and just rolled the hem and sewed that down with a top stitch. Then I attempted to stitch my woven top, my full circle bottom, and my two side flaps together, and I flipped the whole thing inside out and I found that it was extremely too small. And of course I didn't film any of the first sewing, but I did film the end result. So I decided I needed to use the first attempt to make sure the entire top of the seat would be covered, and I figured I would stitch the two together and then try again. So after seam ripping the whole thing, I realized that I had completely forgotten how I had constructed it the first time around as far as the flaps went, so I tried to pin everything together and, and I'd kind of forgotten how I needed to lay everything out to sew it and flip it inside out. I also put interfacing on the second piece and sewed that to the first piece of woven material so it created one larger sheet that was pretty solid. Pinned all of that to my two flaps and my backing and tried to flip it inside out with no success. So I've tried multiple times to get this pillow to work right. It looks kind of okay, a little bit wonky. Several issues, I had to like Frankenstein together two different weaves I made. Still doesn't work. Hand sewed this bit, it's very lumpy. I don't know if you can see, it's like kind of triangular, trapezoidal, not great. And then the worst part, it's all supposed to fit on the top of this guy. But when I, like the whole idea is this, it's got two little pockets on the back side that slip on. But the worst part is I didn't add in enough excess room 
for it to hook on. So it doesn't really fit on the bottom. It's really tight. The fit's not good. It looks horrendous and weird on top when it's on. And the whole idea is I wanted it to be able to pop off and, you know, be used as a regular pillow if I decide I don't want it as a seat cover. It's not working, so I'm gonna seam rip it, try and turn these into darts before I sew it again to hopefully give it a little bit more room here because I realized I did these too tight and I need to loosen them up. And then also there's another layer underneath. Theoretically, if I could loosen this up as well, give it a little bit more breathing room, that would help as well. So I'm gonna give that a try, see what happens. What do you think, Bean? Come here. Mm. He thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> Commence seam ripping. These are the bits that go under the cushion to hook on to the seat over here, to the seat. So my plan, fold them in half and pin a dart, which in theory, I'm thinking will give me a little bit more room underneath. But in practice, I have no idea. Also, I have no idea how big I need to make this dart. So I'm just gonna wing it. I think that'll be great, right? It's a good solid plan. That's how sewing works, right? You just kind of don't measure. Pinned a dart. I think I pinned it too small. It's gotta fit in here somehow. And also I forgot how I did all this. But it's gotta go in here somehow. Wow, that is not good. No. Oh, Bean. We're really in it now, aren't we? So theory, you go here. You go here. Wham. And now the camera's dying. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna assume these are generally about the same shape and size. We're winging it, it's gonna be fine. I won't have to seam with this again for like the 15th time. My spatial reasoning is not good enough to do this. It's only failing if you really hate the end result and you don't try to fix it. I've already forgotten which way these need to go. I'm just gonna pin across the top a little bit to try and create some extra room. This is probably where I'm going wrong. Or maybe where I went wrong was just deciding to make this project in the first place. Am I making it too small by doing this? Best not to put in too many variables, because maybe fixing the one thing will just be good enough. Okay, we have circle. We have side of circle. I didn't think this through. We have other side of circle. I think this is how I need to do it. Help me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna kind of put this in the center-ish. Then I'm gonna tuck this in here with our brand new dart, which is definitely gonna make this work for sure. And then we're gonna do it on this side. And I think this is the direction I need. It's an elephant. This line's super faint, but I can see it in real life, so that's all that matters. We're getting close to where we wanna flip. We wanna stop here. Okay, this baby's sewed up. I left a little hole here to do some flipping. Definitely did something wrong. I can feel it. It went too smooth. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Is it circular? Kind of. Is that how I intended that to go? Not at all. That's not, that's too floppy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. I think we might have to go for like, Take three. I cannot describe to you how annoyed I am with this thing right now. Okay, with this stupid seat, these little flaps are a mess. So I gotta seam rip this whole bad boy. Seam rip it, one more time, at least. And I think maybe I'll sew the flaps on to this guy first, and then sew the top and bottom together. That's my new plan. Bernadette Banner, help me. So this is like take three trying to sew this thing. I've already seam ripped this once, and then I put this off for like almost a month because I didn't want to be too like overzealous and just constantly seam rip this bad boy, but you know, it's a prototype. I'm sure there's a more effective way to seam rip. So after failing multiple times, I charged into the breach once more, this time kind of knowing what I was supposed to do. I pinned it up, ran that sucker through a sewing machine, flipped it inside out, and gosh darn if it didn't actually work this time. Then I stuffed it with some fluff I had from a cat pillow I created one time, and I sewed up the edge that I left open to flip the whole thing inside out with an invisible stitch. And my god, if that thing wasn't round and didn't actually fit on top after 15 bajillion tries, endless seam ripping, it actually looks pretty good. I took a lot of time lining up the two woven pieces to make it look like it was supposed to be 
a pattern like that. I've had it for a few months now, and it is solid. It has lasted longer than some other things in my life, so I have great faith in it. I hope you'll enjoy all of these glamour shots with some plants in the background, one of which, I'll let you guess which, I pulled out of a dumpster. More on that in another video. And as you can see, it's removable just as I intended, and it's easy to pop on and off, although not as easy when you have one hand and you're trying to film something. This is incredibly niche, and I hope that you will have some use for all of my very vague instructions. Weird and wonderful butt pillow. Now please enjoy some weird ramblings that I said while I was filming parts of the video, and I just couldn't bear to cut them out completely. ASMR. Purring cat and seat ripping. This is why I never get anything yet. So cute. Back to destruction. I definitely don't know why I thought weaving was a good idea when I could have just knitted something that right size. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thanks for watching.